Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Got another video for y'all. This one is going to be from Fortune website. Before we get into it, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, comment below. Let's hear your thoughts and opinions on this article. Why cybersecurity is the ultimate recession proof industry, which kind of makes sense. I mean, virtually every organization these days need some kind of cybersecurity due to all the data breaches and organizations are constantly getting probed and attacked by all the bad guys out there. I mean, if your organization makes money, then the bad guys are probably going to target you at some point. With the pace of economic growth showing and inflation at a multi-decade high that has led many people living in the U.S. to start entertaining the R word recession. In 2022, we've experienced what's being coined a technical recession or two consecutive quarters of negative growth in GDP. President Joe Biden, however, has so far had a more optimistic outlook saying the U.S. isn't in recession, blah, blah, blah. Whenever we do inevitably enter another recession, certain industries and types of businesses typically still grow, including healthcare, food, transportation, re recession-proof businesses and industries are those that are more resistant to economic effects of a downturn than others and one industry that the average consumer may not think of as a thriving as thriving during recession is cybersecurity i believe cybersecurity is practically a recession proof industry cybersecurity ventures founder steve morgan tells fortune for organizations of any type or size globally cybersecurity is mandatory without digital protection the business will go out of business given the market demand for anyone with cybersecurity experience they are assured of good employment and that is absolutely true like i said virtually every organization need some kind of cybersecurity as more organizations rely more and more on technology that technology needs to be properly secured that data needs to be properly secured so it doesn't end up in the wrong hands and the company does not want to end up on the news headlines and say hey so and so a company got breached and you know millions of individuals are affected due to the sensitive information that was stolen in that data breach or organization xyz was hit by a ransomware attack and now their operations are down for x amount of time no one wants to end up like that damage to reputation right there also it's going to cost a pretty penny to recover your systems and get your business back in normal operating procedures between 2013 and 2021 the number of open cybersecurity jobs worldwide grew 350 percent from 1 million to 3.5 million according to cybersecurity ventures Boardroom Cybersecurity 2022 report in the U.S. alone, there were around 715,000 jobs yet to be filled as of November 2021, according to the report. Da, da, da. Global spending on cybersecurity products and services between 2021 and 2025 will accumulate $1.75 trillion. I don't believe that there's any industry which is recession-proof, but I think that if there's one industry which might be recession-proof, it's probably cybersecurity. Addy Dar, CEO and founder of cybersecurity firm Cyberbit, tells Fortune, everyone is trying to recruit, everyone is trying to hire. I think that it's going to take years and years until maybe part of the gap is closed. I'm not sure it's ever going to completely close. <clears throat> That's another key thing right there. A lot of these jobs in cybersecurity industry, a lot of people are looking for cybersecurity professionals to fill those positions. Um, I covered it in another video that Joe Biden had announced, you know, they're needing 700,000 cybersecurity related government positions filled. So the work is out there. You guys just need to get the proper training and the proper experience to fill those positions. I mean, there's positions ranging from entry level to mid level to senior level out there. And I know for a fact that these IT recruiters and headhunters are looking for good prof cybersecurity professionals. I mean, my emails, my phone, my LinkedIn messages gets hammered with IT recruiters pounding me about, hey, we got another position open. This company's looking for a position. This this company's got another position open. Hey, we might, we look at your profile. We liked what we saw. Hey, we want to get you in here, get you in an interview, et cetera, et cetera. So you should have no problem finding a position in cybersecurity if you have some experience in it. Now, it might be a little bit harder if you haven't had cybersecurity specific role, but 
that's just an obstacle that you can overcome. I mean, I did it, and I know you guys can do it as well. Companies need cyber protection. Cyber attacks are becoming more pre pre prevalent. The average number of attempted cyber attacks per company rose 31% between 2020 and 2021. The 270 attacks, according to Accenture's State of Cybersecurity Report 2021. The average number of successful attacks per company was 29 in 2021, up from 22 the prior year. Right, as, well, as we all know, these attacks are ongoing. And these attackers are smart people. They are operating their operations like a Fortune 500 company operates. Right, they're constantly coming up with new types of malware, new types of ransomware, new types of extortion methods. They're getting into these, they're doing research on these organizations and they're finding out how much the organization potentially make in revenue or profits per year, and they're calculating that with how much they can extort out of those companies via ransomware. And some of these ransomware operators are even have like an HR department. They're out there looking for good black hat hackers, what have you, that can, they have the skills and such. So, hey, we're going to give you X amount of the percentage from what we make for this ransom. And we like what we see. Let's see here. In fact, Cybersecurity Ventures Boardroom Security Report also shows a growing need to focus on cybersecurity and board of directors. By 2025, 35% of 45 companies will have board members with cybersecurity experience. And by 2031, that will climb to more than 50%, according to the report. In 2021, just 17% of these companies had board members with cyber experience. Now, this, I think, is kind of wishful thinking, honestly, just from my experience, getting some kind of cybersecurity professional on the boards or even being able to talk to those higher-ups in the, in the business. A lot of these higher-ups, at least from my experience, they think that their company is doing all can do to keep their data and systems protected from these bad guys. But in actuality, they're not. They have thousands of vulnerabilities that haven't been remediated. They got a lot of discrepancies in their security posture, policies, procedures. I mean, lack of inventory management with hardware and software. I mean, the company's not doing the basics that are lacking in the basic areas. They're not getting you know, properly getting uh, penetration tested or getting some kind of vulnerability or risk assessment done and then actually going in, reviewing those reports and getting the issues fixed. That's a lot. a lot of times that happens. They just go out and get these penetration tests done, get these risk assessments done, um, vulnerability assessments done, and they're not looking at the reports. They're just, it's just a check in the box. Look, yep, yeah, we did that. We did that for auditing purposes, but they're not going in and having some kind of follow-up meeting discussing with the appropriate business units like hey how can we fix these issues so that next year when we do this again we'll be in better shape cybersecurity industry needs to catch up what we've seen vast growth in the cybersecurity industry that has seemingly no slowdown in sight it's still an industry that's in its infancy explains mark sasson manager partner of pinpoint search group a cybersecurity recruiting firm or recruitment firm if you're defining recession proof has no impact to the industry, I would say no. Cybersecurity is not recession proof, tells Fortune. While the industry will surely continue to grow over time, the massive growth we've seen in the past couple of years is a symptom of an industry in its infancy and needing to catch up to motivate their actors. And that's true as well. I mean, there's probably no industry or job that's recession proof, but if you're in a job that is in high demand and you have those skills that fit that demand, then hey, they're going to look for you and they're going to hire you and they're Pay you the big bucks if you know what you're doing. That's why you guys need to get those skills out there. Get on YouTube. I mean, get yeah, get on YouTube. Look, get on the Googles. Learn everything you can, and get those skills acquired so you can get picked up by these headhunters, IT recruiters, or just from these organizations themselves. The huge, yeah, huge cybersecurity talent gap. I mean, that talent gap is going to be there for a long time. It's been there already for a long time. It's going to continue to be a gap because they can't find qualified professionals to fill those positions. Catch the game will likely last in perpetuity as threats will continue to evolve based on technological advancement, he adds. What this translates to is the need for constant innovation and constant innovation requires investment, right? These companies are gonna have to fork out the big bucks to get these issues resolved when it comes to cybersecurity. I mean, if you're in cybersecurity right now, 
you're probably in a good position because you got everyone trying to recruit you to go and work for them to get their systems secured and they're willing to to pay you the big bucks i mean you have a lot of leverage when it comes to that um in current situations say hey i got like three or four different kinds of job offers what separates you from these other job offers are you gonna pay me the big bucks are you gonna offer me more incentives to join your organization better benefits etc etc anyway that's all i got for you guys check out this article Give your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll get back with you later. Thank you.